Strawberries are growing. The arugula has sprouted in just two days. We replaced the bad seeds and the basil continues to grow. It's looking good. This is try number three. This is the second tank. It's not the ugly duckling, which was uh, the first and second tries. This is one that's just been tack welded and now we have the sealant in it. So let's get it turned on. All right, it looks like we've got just two leaks, which makes this a very successful operation. There's one up underneath right there. It's squirting out and there's one right here. Well, two right there. Oh, there's another one right here, a small one. But this isn't bad at all, guys. There it is right there, the other one. <clears throat> so I, this is very successful uh, we just need to clean this up it's holding water and uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this method uh, for these first ones that we need to do of course our goal is to not have stainless steel tanks in the future these should be rotationally molded plastic tanks that just slide right into the frame uh, but for what we need to do this is going to be fine and we're holding it's not completely filled but it's holding quite a bit of water i'd say it's about halfway filled when you level it all out so, very happy with this. I'm gonna let this thing empty, mark it, and then uh, we're gonna go build the rest of them now. And uh, we'll come back and we'll reseal these fish tanks. Seems like the best thing to do is just put a second coating of sealant onto the fish tanks. Uh, overdo it, really. Uh, but, it's exciting. It's exciting, it's coming together. Let's get to work. Been a great day's worth of work. I got all of the containers. The grow volumes are all now built and they're all drying. Uh, I had, didn't get to the second coat of silicone. It's about six o'clock at night here, 614. I'm gonna call it quits for the night. I still need to build the base for the corn tower, the sheeting, just do the sheeting for it and uh, do some repairs on that. And actually tomorrow I'll be able to put the second coat of silicone on everything uh, and then start grinding everything up and getting it all back together. Still some more welding and stuff to do, so stay tuned for all that, but the towers are coming along really nicely. Can't complain about the progress right now, and I'm very happy with the silicone solution. Even though we had leaks in the one we tested today, it's been out there all day full of water, and it hasn't, hasn't budged. Those leaks still exist, but everything else is holding, so very happy with that. We'll get that back in, get her, uh, put some additional caulking onto it, and call it good. So. Thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified when I put up new videos. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. If you really like what we're doing, you want to help out with all this, Patreon's the place to do it, folks. Thanks again. This is Real Martian, out.